Bring in Congressman Alan Grayson of Florida, who has been a target of the right wing before. Congressman, great to have you with us tonight. Thank you. Uh, do you even know what the Republican agenda is? I mean, is it is it common knowledge what they're all about in Washington or what they're working on? Is it all about Obamacare? Is that it? Well, Ed, I think that Groucho Marx summarized it very well in one of his movies where he sang a song with the lyrics, whatever it is, I'm against it. And that's where we are right now. Whether it's health care, housing, education, or anything else, they're against it. They have been, they are, they always will be. So it, it's almost impossible to function in this environment. So, I mean, I, I would say that 2014 is going to be all about Obamacare. I mean, I don't see how it, it, the election could be centered around anything else. Your thoughts on that? Well, it's unfortunate. The American people have needs. Some of those needs are being bet, met by Obamacare. We still have tens of millions of people in this country who can't see a doctor when they're sick. Obamacare is working towards solving those problems, and that's something that you see missing from the Republican agenda, problem solving. The desire, the urge, the responsibility to try to make the lives of ordinary people better, that's something that they simply don't care about. Well, what's your reaction to blocking witnesses at a hearing? I mean, the folks who are outside, they're taxpayers too. They have a story to, to tell, and those two ladies were denied an opportunity to speak up, clearly, who have been helped by Obamacare. Ed, it's a shame. Look, the First Amendment, the First Amendment being the most important ones because it's the first, say that people have the right to peaceably assemble and they have the right to petition the government to redress their grievances. They have grievances towards ISA. They should be able to express those, and he's preventing that from happening. Do you think it's reached the level of a smear campaign? Ed, that's an understatement. You know, the Republicans have been crisis junkies now for months, if not years. They lurch from one crisis to the next to the next, whether it's a government shutdown or whether it's the debt ceiling or anything else. Now they're smear junkies. That's all they ever do. They try to make the president and the Democrats look bad without offering any solutions to any problems at all. I, I want you to uh, really drill down on that. They have no solutions on the table for health care, do they? No, look, we know what the Republican health care plan is. Don't get sick. Well, you said that. And a few years ago, you, you were on the House floor and you said that the, re, the Republican health care plan is to die quickly. Well, don't get sick, but if you do get sick, die quickly. And look, it's been four years. I wish they'd prove me wrong. What is their health care plan? The only thing they even natter about is tort reform. Well, we've had tort reform in Florida and 38 other states now for 12 years. And believe me, Florida is not a medical paradise. Or they want to have interstate licensing of health insurance companies so that the big ones can swallow up the little ones, just like fish and leave us in the hole. No, look, they've got no solutions to any problems. They just want to whine. In fact, that's the real name of the Tea Party as far as I'm concerned, the wine party, because all they ever do is wine. So that comment you made on the floor four years ago still stands today. No and, question. And, and, and I think that that really has to be profoundly pointed out, that the Republican Party, from the day you were on the House saying that, the Republican health care plan, number three, die quickly after you get sick, Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed whether you're talking about health care, housing, transportation, education, jobs, trade, taxes, whatever it is. They have no plan. So moving forward, how do you think Obamacare is going to play out? I mean, it, it, there's a lot of pressure being put on making sure the website works. I mean, the website is going to work. Whether it's the end of the month or next month or two months or three months, more and more people are, are, are functioning on the website every day. I'm sure that the Republicans will continue to shed crocodile tears about all those unfortunates who can't sign up quite yet for Obamacare after they had 47 different votes to eliminate that website and everything associated with it. How ridiculous is that? What's the best play for the Democrats? The best play for the Democrats is to tout our successes. Obamacare has put millions of young people on the health care rolls because they joined their parents' plan. It's eliminated half of the donut hole on its way to eliminating all the donut hole for seniors who vote heavily in off-year elections. In addition to that, now we see what the Republicans are really concerned about, which is are these discounts that people are going to be getting by signing up through the website, the affordability credits. The average family is going to be getting $2,300 a year in a discount for their health insurance through Obamacare. And I could go on and on because, in fact, it has helped people already, including the 34 million people who couldn't get health coverage because they had a pre-existing condition. The good progressives, Democrats on the Hill, have not had a hard time calling out the insurance industry and calling it what it is, junk policies. But there seems to have been a reluctance on the part of the White House 
to use that kind of terminology. In fact, I haven't heard them use that kind of terminology. People have their insurance policies canceled all the time. Well, now that Obamacare has put in standards, 10 standards that must be met for every policy, why can't the Democrats collectively call it what it is to fight back against this onslaught of negativity? Well, the president is a gentleman, and sometimes that gets used against him. The Republicans constantly push and push and push, attack, 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 and the president sometimes turns the other cheek. But this is too important because we don't want the American people to be fooled by Republican right-wing propaganda. In fact, the system already has delivered good things to many people and will continue to do so because we actually want to solve people's problems. We want those 50 million people who can't see a doctor when they're sick to get the health care they need to survive and to thrive. Alan Grayson, good to have you with us tonight. Thanks Thank so you, much. Ed. Appreciate it, Congressman. Remember